not gonna bleed too much. Ow! I was working in the lab late one night. My eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from his slab began to rise. And suddenly, to my surprise,
monsters? We're way deep in the woods now, and there's footprints all over the place. Steve's done some calls and some wood knocks, and we've gotten some crazy responses. Okay, Bigfoot's here, monster fans. Stay tuned. Please, I assure you, your bizarre shopping experience is completely safe. You may have folks fooled, Ananda, but not me. I know something is fishy here. Salutations and assorted felicitations. Welcome to the bazaar, the marketplace of the unusual. I have not seen you here before. Know this, the bazaar can be found underneath our feet, buried by layers of snow. Access is restricted to the lucky few who possess an entrance pass. You can purchase an entrance pass at the door from our esteemed hosts, the Monster Army. Or, if you lack the funds, simply find an established merchant to vouch for you. Oh, a misunderstanding, I assure you. There have been some troubles in the bazaar of late. But nothing our esteemed hosts, the Monster Army, can't resolve. I assure you, inside the bazaar awaits a satisfying and secure shopping experience. Up the ramp, you'll find the door to the bazaar, covered by a vehicle. My name is Ananda Rabindranath, Mannerite missionary, merchant, and your humble servant. I was assigned to answer any questions you may have. Felicitations. It is common wisdom to keep one's mouth shut when one lacks courteous things to say. Truly, I find the very idea of smuggling people revolting. With that said, if I were a less discreet person, I'd suggest that you drive out to the old parking garage down the road to the north. Who knows? You may find your answers there. Naturally, I have a variety of goods for sale that could suit your needs. But let's not barter out here in the cold. Join me in the warmth and security of our encampment. This way, friends. If civilization collapses, all of Colorado Springs will look like this. Howdy, strangers. Name Six Fingered Larry. Hunter. Though, it seems you find me plumb out of wares. Only that they make more money than I do. Bastards. But to answer your question, nah, I'm an honest businessman. I don't waste my time with criminals. Why don't you try the Mannerite? Yeah, the, the one with the suit. He knows all about the local lowlife. I'm no local, but ask me anything you want. I'll see if I can be useful. That'd be Flab the Inhaler. He leads what's left of the monster army after the Patriarch gutted their ranks. As far as dictators go, he's actually not half bad. Me? Nah, I don't got the bona fides. The bazaar? It used to be something else. Now, it's just old and fat, wheezing through its last days. Easy pickings. What's on your mind? Him? <laughs> you don't want him. Barrett's got a bit of an attitude problem. Tried to peck his way through a kid's skull the other week. If you insist, though, 
You'll have to talk to Polly yourself, because I got no say in what he's going to do. All right. It's your funeral. Hey, Polly, you hear that, old buddy? These fine folks would like to adopt you. How's that sound? Larry, my buddy, my pal. <coughs> Come closer. I'll show you how it sounds to me. Oh, shit. Damn it. That's how it fucking sounds to me, Larry. Sounds like some fucking bullshit. <coughs> Wasting your time with this asshole. Talk to Polly. Talk to Polly. <whistles> Polly wants you to gag on weak old shit leaking from a dead guy's ass. <whistles> Piss off, shit smear. Piss off. Listen, shit for brains. <whistles> Someone has to stick around to make Larry's life miserable. <whistles> That's my job. I love that job. You hear that, Larry? I... Well, shit, you're right, you circus reject. I mean, you look like someone grafted a squid to a diseased vulva. But when you're right, you are right. Hey, Larry, I'm leaving. All right, he's yours if you pay the price. This sounds about fair, don't you think? Hell no! <laughs> hey, jizz for brains, Larry. Give them a discount or I'll fill your pie hole with parrot piss while you sleep. <laughs> ah, give me a second. Give me a second. I'm trying here. <laughs> All right. All right. That price was a little high. How about this? Wise choice, shitheads. <laughs> How aren't your balls hanging around someone's neck <whistles> like a pearl necklace? Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. You'd think with you all these people waiting to get in, the bizarre felicitations. But of course. Really need to ask Piscatelli to look at my gun. Ah, bugger keeps jamming. some pork buns. Felicitations. But of course.
wait until lunchtime so I can grab some pork tits. Really need to ask. The Book of Nauseatingly Correct Manners, Chapter One on the Proper you Use of Etiquette. It is a common misconception that etiquette exists as a means of affirming one's social status at the expense of the uninitiated. That is, it serves as a barrier to keep the uncivilized apart from their betters. Of course, nothing could be further from the truth. Etiquette and proper manners are the glue that binds civilized society together. And it is the duty of civilized persons to educate the less fortunate. Uh, hi, hey there. Hi! Yeah, I'm Paris, trying to get into the bazaar to sell my dyes. Same as you, I imagine. The getting into the bazaar part, not the dyes. Unless you do dyes, which is totally cool by me if you do. Hi! Refugees? Don't know about that. I mean, everyone here looks like they're refugees. Have you seen us? It's cold here. Brr. Try Ananda. He's this really well-dressed guy. Comes out here a lot preaching waistcoats or something. He knows everybody. I'm trying to become a licensed merchant in the bazaar. The monster army says I gotta make a dye the exact color of blood, which is hard because everyone's got an opinion, but no one can agree on the hue. Hey, uh, you wouldn't happen to know anything about dyes, huh? It'd be just peaches if you could help. I could even pay you, a little at least. My dye table is right over there. Decoration, I suppose? Or, uh, I don't know, really. I didn't think to ask, to be honest. Them? They're hoping someone would sell them an entrance pass or help them get inside. The bazaar's got this code, you see. Unless you're a big shot Flab can't do without, you're not allowed to come in. Anyhow. Um, Flab's uh, the leader of the bazaar. He's a big guy, which is why everyone calls him Flab, you know? It's kind of mean, but Flab doesn't seem to mind, so whatever. I guess? Yeah. So long. It's hard, huh? I hear there used to be books that'd tell you the exact mix you needed, but I'm pretty sure they're not around the bazaar.
I've got a <clears throat> shopping list a mile long. How are we gonna get it all home? We'll worry about that after we're inside. <laughs> 